Today's March 16th, 2019, and this is episode 74 of Plane Savers. Good morning, everybody. It is a nice day here in Red Deer. It is minus eight degrees Celsius, which is about, I think 13, 13 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's good. And, and during the day, it's supposed to actually get to the pluses, which is gonna be super nice. I like to say that, uh, I like to half apologize for yesterday's episode being so late. The internet here is so, so bad, folks. I started uploading the video at 4 p.m. and I finally finished at 9.30. And that's a, that was only 1.7 gigabyte file. So I got working on some solutions, so hopefully the video you're watching today is a little bit quicker. Uh, today's actually another monumental task. Uh, Plane Savers has now surpassed Ice Pilots for the amount of episodes. Um, uh, we had, on uh, Ice Pilots, we had six seasons, five of which had 13 episodes. The last season, season six, had eight. 73 episodes, and now we're on episode 74 of Plane Savers. And uh, yeah, so I'm super stoked about that and today we're uh we got hey ronnie Hi. How are you doing? Hey guys <laughs> we got the polishing section here rob is uh me and rob are actually working on we're teaching ourselves how to polish how's it going rob good thanks <laughs> what we're doing is we don't have the um red bull million dollar budget <laughs> so we're gonna gussy her up as best as we can as you can see some of the cowlings here still got the the you know the aladine uh, gold tinge to it so we're just doing a little bit of elbow grease well mostly rob uh, is doing most of the elbow grease shoulder torque <laughs> shoulder torque to get the aladine off so it's nice and sparkly for you guys when she gets to see this airplane flying uh and then we got curtis over here curtis uh came in from calgary to help us out this weekend he's taking off all the accessories and all the cables and lines and everything off of um geez i'm confused again because it's dtb yeah, this engine came off DTV right hand hmm. side. So, Chris, you want to show us um, what you uh, discovered when you uh, pulled off uh, the, yeah, is it the were, carb here? Yeah, this is where the carburetor goes. They were going to use this engine, but they took the carb off, and you can see the, the blower down there, the impeller. Yes. It's all chewed up like crazy. A, a nut went through there or some type of metal. So. Hmm. Yeah, so they we're, we're going to use this engine, but uh, yeah, you can see there's some damage with the, the impeller. But so Curtis is taking the engine. Uh, this is the engine we came in from Yellowknife, right? Yeah, yeah this is the engine I came down on the electro. So this was just the one you seen with Jamie showing it. So Curtis, uh, uh, his normal job is, at, is working with the Baslers over at Ken Bork in Calgary. So thanks, Curtis, for coming in this weekend. Yeah, oh, no problem. Curtis has been around Buffalo Airways uh, since 1997. And you've seen uh, his father, Cliff Dyson, uh, on, on Plane Savers before. Huge Calgary Flames fans. Yeah, of course. Good year. Good year so far. I think we're going to go quite far, I hope. <laughs> no, Oilers, not so much. No. Not so much. <laughs> maybe maybe what I can do is, Stella, you've never had your own segment before. Maybe I'll let you have the camera and you can go introduce the volunteers. How's that sound? Yeah. Do you think I should trust Stella with the, with the camera? Yeah, I think so. So here, I'll give Stella the camera and she can go interview the, the volunteers and see where they're from. I think it's working. So let's, uh, let's start with volunteer number one right here. What's your name? Hi, I'm Donald White. I'm from Edmonton and a longtime fan of all things Buffalo. Mm -hmm. uh, so just down here helping out with the volunteers and uh, trying to get this show on the road and get things done in Montreal. And uh, when, when was the first time you actually uh, ran into Buffalo or Ice Pilots? Oh, well, I was, yeah, with Ice Pilots back mm -hmm. in 2009, 2010, I guess. Oh, that's so a long, long time, time ago. Long time uh, follower of the, of the, the genre. <laughs> and uh, what do you usually do? I'm retired now, but I was working in the electronics field for 30 years. So uh, what's your favorite plane so far here? I like the CL215, that's my favorite. That's your favorite? In orange or in yellow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in uh, yellow, yeah, for sure, yeah. Okay, I'm here with volunteer number two, and what is your name? It's uh, Claude Petrie. And what's your job usually if you're not at Buffalo? Uh, I work in IT, not very exciting. But... What's more exciting, airplanes? Uh, definitely. Definitely? Yeah. What's your favorite airplane? Uh, I, I'm kind of partial to mine. Um, I've got a, a plane parked uh, next door here. Uh, it's a, one that I built myself, an RV9. 
but uh, it's kind of nice being around these King Airs and the Electra. So uh, what's your favorite plane in this hangar right now? Uh, this, uh, this Electra here is pretty, pretty good. Hey guys, I'm here with the volunteer number three and what is your name? Leuven. And what's your job if you're not here at Buffalo? I'm a Boilermaker with Local 146 in Edmonton. And uh, what's your favorite airplane in this hangar so far? Uh, I really like this guy, the King Airs. Which one, the blue or the green one? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't I, matter. I, I just like the turbo, turbines. You got a turbine behind you as well. What do you think about the Electra? The Electra, well, it's, it's a little bit big for me, but uh, yeah, I'd really like to fly one of these King Airs. Volunteer number four here with me. What's your name? Hi, I'm Raymond Rasmussen. What's your job if you're not here at Buffalo? Oh, I'm a grain farmer full time. And where are you from? West Annisville, about 20 miles from here. Is that where you have your farm as well? Yes, that's right. That's awesome. How did you get uh, in contact with Plane Savers or Buffalo Airways? Well, I've watched every episode so far. Of Ice Pilots uh, too? Uh, well, <laughs> most of the Ice Pilots ones as well. That's correct, yeah. And uh, have you any connection to aviation Very outside little. of your life? Very little. My brother's a pilot. Other than that, no. That's a big connection. True. Yeah. <laughs> Who is he flying for? Oh, he's semi-retired right now. Semi-retired. Okay, folks, the big, you know, the big project today is to get the props off WZS. And if you can remember from a previous episode that, you know, uh, Rod had looked up the, the, the dates and stuff where the props on WZS are actually going to expire. Now, the DC-3 props are on what's called a calendar, which means they just expire by each day passing, not over time, like, you know, time flowing and stuff. It's quite complicated. Just that, know that... Uh, in about a year, these props are going to be pretty much useless anyways. So we're going to use these props on our D-Day bird. And then when WZS flies, they'll get brand new props put on her uh, and everything's good. So instead of putting brand new props on DTD and then putting brand new props on uh, WZS when we need it, uh, we're actually killing two birds with one stone by doing it this way. So the volunteers and Ronnie are going to be working on getting the props off. And I'm going to show you guys uh, just a little behind the scenes on it. We just we have the prop tools here. We just take the dome off, take the nut off, let let the main prop shaft nut go, and sling them off. And then we'll palletize them and take them over and load them. That's about it. <laughs> Cut that wire. So Ronnie, what process are we going through right now? He's just we're taking the dome off first. Got the dome plug out. Taking a grub screw out now so we can take the dome off. Now we'll drop the dome into a pail right there. And then we'll take the prop off. And if you miss, you're gonna hit yourself right, right in the bag. <laughs> you got that on camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How are they doing, Ronnie? Good, good. If they come to come back, they can put them back on. They're taking the distributor valve off. Now we'll loosen up the main prop nut, and then we'll have the props off. Put that on there. And then you put that in, in there too. Here, here. You gotta put that in there too for, for the jack door. Okay. 
and that's that's just like a little hydraulic jack. So th this is similar to like a little jack that you would see that you kind of jack your car with, yep, yep, like a, yep. a bottle jack. Yeah. So hopefully you guys can see they got this little jack thing and it's pushing inside and releasing the torque. So Ronnie, is that the main prop shaft nut? Yeah. They're breaking it free right now. So this would be the main torque holding the whole thing together? Yeah. Get up. Okay. And a safety nut or safety nut. There you go. Get. I was hoping to keep this episode about 10 minutes, but uh, these guys are doing such a good job. Uh, I hate to cut anything out, so uh, this might be a long one. Might be midnight by the time this episode gets on the internet, but it's totally worth it. Look at this. From from watching on YouTube to actually working on a DC3 uh, that was in D-Day. Okay, take it all off now we're done. It's all good. Set it on the corner right here. Just trying to collect all that oil. That's good. Okay. She's good. So it's all good. She's ready to come come off. Yes. Okay, so the boys got their prop off. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got to head back and get this thing edited as I only have a short amount of time to get this going. Uh, I have no clue how long this episode is going to be. But uh, hopefully you guys liked it and we'll see you tomorrow, Sunday. There will be no live stream as I am here and there's no internet here. So uh, yeah, so we'll uh, do a, an extra bonus episode tomorrow. A regular plane savers, but uh, tomorrow we're going to be getting carbs off of uh, the other D-Day bird. It's got a couple new carbs we're going to use. And yeah, lots of stuff, folks. Whew. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you very soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.